Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Premium Tech Century, and as you might have seen in my previous videos, I just bought two HP monitors to go along with my 27 inch iMac for a new editing setup. Now, unfortunately, this is a 2010 iMac, meaning it only has one mini display or Thunderbolt output. So, usually, there's only a way to connect one display to it. Now, I have two monitors, so fortunately, there are some workarounds for it. So, I just purchased this, which is the NewAttack USB to HDMI, DVI, or VGA adapter. And this basically allows you to connect a new display with just using a standard USB port. So, in this video, I'm going to unbox this adapter and we'll take a first look at the performance. So here we have the packaging itself, so we see new technology USB to DVI, HDMI or VGA adapter. Then on the back we see some of the features and there we see that this is just a regular USB 2.0 device. Also we have included a USB to DVI adapter, a DVI to HDMI, a DVI to VGA adapter and also a cd one software and installation and setup guide for Mac and a user manual. So as you see right here, this also works with Mac and PC. And so for Mac on the website, it says it supports up to four displays. On Windows, it supports up to six displays via those adapters. So you have to buy always a new adapter for each monitor so you can connect up to six. Now we see right here that we have also a maximum resolution of 2048 times 1152. So HD is no issue at all. So we're gonna peel off this one piece of tape right here and that should be enough. Yes, so we can open it right here. And so we have little protection stuff right here. And so we see that we have the adapted stuff there. Let's see how we take this off. Oh, probably not the best way to do it. But here's the main attraction, which is, of course, the DVI to USB adapter. So we have DVI right here and then just USB 2.0 right there. Put this right here. And then we have the adapter from VGA, DVI to VGA right there. And then also from DVI to HDMI right here. And besides that, we just have a quick start guide right here, which is pretty much really simple and basic. And then again, the software right here. And so we'll take a look at the installation and the actual performance. So here you see the plugged in USB 2 DVI adapter. So after a lot of troubleshooting, I finally got this working. First of all, the included drivers on the disk won't work. You have to actually download the latest one from the display link website. Next up, you have to unplug the adapter from your machine a couple of times and restart your machine in order to get it working. Now it's working using DVI or VGA, both work, but there's definitely a certain amount of lag while you like using just a window carrying around. It's not really that much of an issue, but when it comes to video, there's definitely a certain amount of lag. As you see right here already with the window popping in and out, it's just anything but fluid. And then video playback like this works rather okay in this smaller window. But then if you actually go to full screen and this isn't even HD, then there's definitely a big amount of lag. So for video playback, you can't really use it at all. So I have to say I'm really pissed, especially for the price that you'll hear in a second. And yeah, I'm just really disappointed. I waited for this quite a long time and then paid a lot of money for it. But first impressions are pretty horrible. I'll share with you guys if I find any fixes or any ways to improve this. But as of right now, I don't have any idea. And so we're already at the end of this video. If you want to pick up this adapter, you can find it on maxsales.com for 55 US dollars. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now they also ship to other countries like Germany, but then you have to add around 30 bucks for UPS shipping. And on top of that, around 30 bucks for import taxes. So for me, it was around $100, which is definitely on the pricey side. If you're in the US, again, it's $55 and then you're pretty much lucky. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button down below or wherever it is on your mobile platform. If you have any questions to this adapter, then just leave them down in the comment section below and I'm gladly to answer them. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.